After the next 30 minutes, you will yourself feel that God is around you, and He is watching you, so don't ignore these 30 minutes, and don't leave them incomplete. Your life is about to change after listening this message from the God. Type 1111 if you are ready. God is saying to you today, My beloved child, hear my voice calling out to you. I have seen the sadness weighing heavily on your spirit. The grief that fills your songs of praise. For too long, you have approached my altar. With tears of sorrow, seeking answers to unmet longings, miracles for unhealed wounds, each note of your worship has echoed the unspoken cries of your soul, and though my heart breaks to hear your pain. I tell you, your days of mourning have reached their end, a new dawn is stirring within you, even now, I am kindling the embers of joy that have laid dormant under the ashes of your grief, reigniting a flame of hope and promise that no darkness can overcome. The shout of victory that is soon to pour forth from your lips has been building in its potency from the first moment you chose surrender. It has gained momentum with every act of trust, every whisper of praise, even when sung through. Quivering lips when you had no song left to sing, like a stream winding its way through resistance, carving out a course for its waters, your worship has been making a way for this breakthrough. Even when you could not see the path ahead, just as I opened Hannah's womb after years of barren weeping, I am opening up springs of life within the wastelands of your circumstance. The dreams I planted, promises I penned over you in ages past, are ripening into manifestations before your eyes. What was once hollow is being filled, what was once barren is yielding forth fruit. Where you have wept, now you will dance. Where you have labored under the weight of impossibility, now you will. Bask in the lightness of victory and accomplishment. I know the moments of your deepest dismay, when every ember of hope grew cold and dark, I saw the temptation to doubt, to give yourself over to resignation or despair more times than you could ever know. I caught the words of accusation before they could pass your lips, words that said I had left you, had forsaken you when all along, I was there, carrying you, shaping you, loving you into wholeness. If only you could glimpse the scope of my providence, how intricately I have choreographed. Your story, how custom I have crafted your journey, not one moment of your suffering has gone unseen or unfelt by me. I know the sting of every wound, the ache of every disappointment, I know them because I bore them on your behalf. I have tasted the bitterness of every grief you were spared because I intervened, I have shouldered sorrows intended for your back, though storm clouds gathered above you, I commanded angels to hold them back until your roots grew deep in my love, I have charted the course of your life through suffering and lack because I saw the astounding masterpiece it would shape your soul into, the cries that tore through your defenses broke my heart. But even they were necessary, tiny deaths had to precede the expansive life I envisioned for you. You likely did not feel my presence in the darkness, but you will see my fingerprints all over tomorrow's dawning. What the enemy meant to destroy you with will become the very materials I use to launch you into higher places of influence and freedom. Words spoken over you that sought to limit and diminish will fuel a messaging that frees countless captive hearts. The losses meant to bankrupt you only serve to clear away lesser desires that I might entrust you with true eternal riches. The tragedies you wept over laid foundations for miracles that will ripple through generations. My beloved, nothing has been wasted, Soon all will stand in awe at the mastery with which I take the dust of your past and reshape it into a destiny beyond your wildest dreams, the certificates of impossibilities that limited your identity, 
rerouted your path, closed doors of opportunity, will soon, my beloved child, hear my voice calling out to you. I have seen the sadness weighing heavily on your spirit, the grief that fills your songs of praise, for too long, you have approached my altar with tears of sorrow, seeking answers to unmet longings, miracles for unhealed wounds, type 777 if you believe this. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $50 to $100, each note of your worship has echoed the unspoken cries of your soul, and though my heart breaks to hear your pain, I tell you, your days of mourning have reached their end, a new dawn is stirring within you, even now. I am kindling the embers of joy that have laid dormant under the ashes of your grief, reigniting a flame of hope and promise that no darkness can overcome. The shout of victory that is soon to pour forth from your lips has been building in its potency from the first moment you chose surrender. It has gained momentum with every act of trust, every whisper of praise, even when sung through quivering lips when you had no song left to sing, like a stream winding its way through resistance, carving out a course for its waters, your worship has been making a way for this breakthrough, even when you could not see the path ahead, just as I opened Hannah's womb after years of barren weeping. I am opening up springs of life within the wastelands of your circumstance. The dreams I planted, promises I penned over you in ages past, are ripening into manifestations before your eyes. What was once hollow is being filled, what was once barren is yielding forth fruit. Where you have wept, now you will dance, where you have labored under the weight of impossibility, now you will bask in the lightness of victory and accomplishment, I will use them to light my fire of blessing and prosperity in your life. What you have endured has qualified you for more than you can fathom, your small seed of willingness, planted in the desolate soil of disappointment, is about to burst forth into a magnificent tree of influence, discipleship, and fruitfulness, listen. For the sound of shifting on your behalf, the walls erected against your purpose are beginning to crack and crumble. Systems will soon open up to welcome the giftings I have nurtured in you. People of affluence and influence will extend hands of favor and partnership, welcoming your vision into rooms of increase. The breakthrough that you pleaded for is now searching for you, and when it finds you, you will suddenly awake to a realm of more than enough, more open doors than you have gifts to fill, more resources than you have projects to fund. What you have gained in obscurity will endow you with credibility for larger spheres, the boundaries of impossibility that hemmed you in on every side have now become launching paths for demonstrations of my glory, beloved child, the meaning behind your suffering is about to come full circle as I lead you out of this wilderness. Leaning upon your beloved, you will never again doubt my faithfulness or my goodness. You will look back at all you have overcome, and your joy will be unwavering in the knowledge that I was with you through it all, never leaving, never forsaking, crafting beauty even in your valley of shadows. I am calling your name. My beloved warrior, I am rousing your spirit to awakening, lift your head above the fog of battle weariness, open your eyes to see all that has been prepared for this moment. Your extremity has become my opportunity, as you abandon yourself and trust once more to my faithful, flawless leadership. I am taking your pathway to work stories of impossibilities and awe the heavens with the epic saga I am weaving through your surrender, 
your season of weeping has passed, already, I am clothing you in my robe of righteousness as you emerge from the grave clothes of your former identity. The shouts of praise that are now rising from your innermost being are the very keys. Unlocking this new realm, though the revelation dawning in your spirit overwhelms you with its vastness, do not shrink back, do not withdraw into smallness out of self-doubt, do not diminish what I am pronouncing over you. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation I have opened up to you, as you walk forward in confident trust, the old limitations will fall away like shackles that have lost their hold, no longer will cacophonies of lack compete with my melody of plenty resounding through your soul, no longer will you cower in the corner of self-protective fear when boldness and courage are yours for the taking. Inside you swells a song that will shatter strongholds of injustice, release. Captives from oppression, and awakened destinies that have laid dormant for ages, do not hold it back, step forward into the vastness I have prepared for you with palms open to receive the outpouring I have stored up. Open your mouth for the sound that will unlock prison doors and topple thrones of iniquity, I will heal wounds decades old and steer my children clear of the snares that have held back their elders. Heaven stands poised at attention, awaiting the high praises from the lips of those who know their God is mighty to save. Beloved, there is a shout arising from the internal chambers where I have hidden you, protected you, empowered you. A holy exchange of suffering into glory. The song contains such power and life within it that all of creation groans in anticipation of its release. I will lead the harmonies of saints and angels, past and future, as my glory anthem crescendos through surrendered lives like yours. My child, if you could see what I see, how I yearn for that first note of victory to burst from your lungs, to set all my plans and purposes for you into blazing motion. You were seated for such a time as this, you were created to unlock your destiny. From the catalyst of worship, detonating the old limitations off your own life, the key to birthing breakthroughs dwells within you. I have ordained praise to break forth from your lips that will shake the foundations of darkness and usher in eras of awakening that ripple throughout your life. As you release control and surrender to my will, you will witness wonders beyond imagination, Picture yourself free from the burdens of the past, stepping into a future illuminated by my radiant joy, I have watched your struggles and felt your pain, and now I am ready to transform your tears into overwhelming gladness, rise, beloved, for our unity is now your strength, together, we shall recover the realms redeemed by my sacrifice, the times of longing are over, the rivers of blessing I promised are now flowing directly to you, your faithfulness in the darkest hours is about to be rewarded with glory and success in every endeavor, no longer will you see only in part, you will know me fully as I have always known you. In your total surrender to me, the power of my spirit will work mightily, I have been waiting for this moment when your faith resounds like a thunderous anthem, declaring the shift of all things under my righteous rule, the deceits that whispered defeat are silenced, you will harness divine power and overcome all opposition as you dedicate yourself anew to my vision and ignore the taunts of your adversaries. You'll open the floodgates of heaven's answers, what seemed impossible will become your reality, the hidden strength I have placed within you is ready to emerge, a mighty arsenal of miracles set to spring forth as you proclaim my victory, prepare yourself for an outpouring of wonders as you stand in my anointing, the time is now, and you are my chosen instrument for this miraculous era, I ride forth now to bestow upon you, my child, 
mercies ever new that will grace your life, you shall emerge victorious at every turn, as I have decreed over you, remain in perfect peace, unswayed by contradictions, and rest in the knowledge that recompense for all the enemy stole will suddenly overtake you to the cheers of saints and angels. Let the song in your heart rise once more, shouting in confidence of my goodness and the protective favor I wrap you in. Your season of testing and training has borne fruit, endowing you with spiritual authority and anointing influence. If you could see how your earthly struggles lead to epic breakthroughs in the heavenly realms, as you lift your voice in praise and decree my goodness, you activate endless fountains of blessing. Your song set forth dictations for outcomes of hope as you focus on me, your strong tower and helper, type 777, if you believe this. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you God, and if you believe in Christianity. Kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $50 to $100, I raise up cities of refuge and embolden witnesses to guide others away from destruction, through every era, your perseverance through questions of injustice and adversity ignites a revolution in your life, ushering in a new era of glorious advance under my guidance. Beloved, your attentiveness to my whispers has rallied angel armies to readiness on your behalf. Your tenacity and endurance in seasons of trial, choosing trust when emotions war against the reality of my goodness, has unleashed spiritual forces poised to clear paths and open doors with blazing speed. My impartations through our times alone together have matured into divine resilience and steadfastness, ready to withstand the coming onslaughts. As you wield with confidence the weapons of our warfare, you will witness walls crumble that long resisted my advances through bloodline. Legacies with roots of darkness seeking to choke out destinies, but now, at last, the poison gives way to cure, besiegement to blessing unrestrained, the night of tears and travail births children of unfettered identity. Breaking every chain, the bruising battle was worth the reward, now, quickly overtaking you, my child, lift up your voice with strength and stamina. The wealth of mind, will, and emotions now aligning to mine as you emerge to take your place on center stage in my spotlight. Breakthrough on an unprecedented scale will now become your new normal as reparations for injustice and inequality come flooding into your storehouses straight from my throne of grace. Sing out the victory chant, my love. Fill the atmosphere around you with praise declarations of my goodness, now cascading all around you, as you lift your gaze to meet mine, leaving behind the limitations and losses of nights now passed into dawn. Green pastures and clear still waters now rise to meet you beside restorative streams I have prepared for you, in the presence of enemies trying to hijack your destiny, I spread the feast I have been preparing through hardship, a banquet table of abundance spilling over with rich fare, the oil and wine of joy restoring your soul now overflows to anoint you, from rest. I lead you now to walk with me beside refreshing waters in pathways of righteousness, moving ever forward into the true identity I purchased for you. Streams in the wasteland give way to rivers in the desert of exponential increase and bountiful lush landscapes as miracles of provision meet needs, nourish talents and gifts, expanding influence. Child, lift your gaze to behold vast vistas of fruitfulness. Shake loose the grave clothes of lack and smallness attempting to constrain my vast resources. 
where you felt enclosed on all sides by limitation and lack, now boundaries surge wide, vanishing into distant horizons of possibility, the storehouses intended for commissioning your dreams bust at the seams, awaiting your stewardship to unleash their burgeoning bounty, no more hunkering in fear over finances or lack, beloved. Only joyful obedience to take more ground for my kingdom. Where you once saw clearly defined borders and perimeters, I am shifting perception now to gaze upon limitless vistas of potential and influence ever expanding to envelop more hungry hearts, beneath your feet unfolds a scroll of divine assignments, unfurling down destiny's corridor, if only you could glimpse their grandeur, sealed with seven seals, these strategies now begin to unveil themselves to you, beloved one, as you yield to my wisdom, that time, beloved child, has dawned, and you, are the centerpiece, the moment moments that defined you, broke you, remade you, now culminate in this breathless hour of long-awaited launch, as you fix your gaze upon me, dark shadows of all that sought to war against and limit my expressions of life through you now flee. Strongholds of doubt dissolve as you allow the deep truth of my delight to define you, no more wavering between two opinions when you behold my pleasure beaming upon you, trust unfurls its leafy branches within you, bearing rich fruit of boldness, as my perfect love permeates every defense, banishing fears, the sound of laughter and joyful feasting resounds through our abiding place together. As I call you to now lean back into my embrace, allowing my nurturing life to overflow into barren places within and surrounding scars, recount stories of transformation now flowering into sources of healing for others journeying through parallel wounds, your battleground becomes their proving ground as you steward victories hard won to equip them in overcoming the crucible of adversity that threaten to crush and diminish. Now shines as refiner fire, removing dross to reveal hidden gold, my nature reflecting true worth long disguised under false perception, pains, injuries become sources of rescue. Your willingness plays out through time as wounds redeemed double back full circle to break generational curses. The tests and trials you clung through with white-knuckled trust purchased life and liberty beyond view. In this moment, but soon, the first fruits of long endurance will burst upon your path to bring you joy as you stand in the face of adversity, type 777 if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type I really love you God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100, remember the lion, the majestic guardian of its kin, when it protects its offspring, when it guards its domain, it roars with unyielding might, this roar. A clarion call, warns the predator, you shall not trespass upon this sacred ground, so too must you raise your voice in fervent worship, in heartfelt praise to me. Let your spirit be fierce, your faith unbreakable, for in this very act of worship, in this very moment, you are seizing victory, you are forging a path through the wilderness of trials the adversary believed you would falter, imagined you vanquished before the year's end. But rise up and proclaim, I am resilient, I am fortified, I stand in unity with my Lord Jesus Christ, seated in celestial realms alongside me. Your every struggle, your every burden, you shall see them undone, their chains broken. Proclaim to the deceiver, your schemes have failed, your efforts are in vain, remember the walls of Jericho, 
how they crumbled at the sound of triumphant shouts, it was a moment of divine seizing, a time to claim what was promised, and now I declare unto you, it is your time. Seize what is yours, take hold of your destiny, stand firm in faith, for in me, you are more than a conqueror, my dear child, let's talk heart to heart, you've been feeling overwhelmed. Haven't you? It's like a tide of spiritual battles, one after the other, and you're left wondering why, you see this struggle, this push and pull, it's there because there's something vital missing, your praises to me, your unshakable faith, remember how the Israelites faced towering walls, daunting foes in their promised land, they turned to me, and I guided them, victory wasn't just about fighting, it was about faith, about a shout from the soul that breaks barriers, I know you're up. Against much, facing adversaries and obstacles that seem insurmountable, but listen, dwelling too much on these foes gives them power they don't deserve, instead, give them a taste of your unwavering faith in me. Stand firm and declare to those challenges, enough. I am ready to reclaim what's mine with a shout of faith this very night, let the Holy Spirit move within you, empowering you to seize what's rightfully yours, declare boldly, I refuse to wait any longer, the opposition retreats because God has declared this is my time, believe it with all your heart, no curse, no weapon, no shadow against you shall prevail. So raise your voice in triumphant praise, not in fear but in certainty. It's your time to conquer, not just to endure. This victory is yours, claim it not in silence but in a joyous, resounding shout of faith, I sense there are those among you questioning, is this word truly for me, doubt is natural, but hear me clearly. It may not be your moment to triumph just yet, but see yourself as I see you, a conqueror, victorious in every sense. Your name is etched next to words like victorious, favored, blessed beyond measure. You are beautiful, magnificent, a reflection of my goodness, connected to my grace and mercy. Victory becomes your birthright, remember. In my resurrection, your victory was sealed alongside mine, you, my precious child, are victorious, and I am not just a silent observer, I am actively backing your faith. Your engagement, your willingness to listen and believe, even through this connection, it is a testament to your faith, and I am here to support it, sending angels to guard and guide you. The key to the Israelites' victory was their obedience and unity in spirit. Today, you and I are united in this spirit, even though we are apart. Know that I am preparing to unleash breakthroughs upon you. What is rightfully yours, the home I've promised, the love I've ordained, the prosperity I've planned, is waiting to be claimed, your shout, whether a physical cry or a silent prayer, is a powerful act of faith, if you could see how I work in the hearts of those who gather in my name, as in my churches around the world. You'd witness the power of putting faith into action, what I promise, I deliver, your faith, your shout, is the key to unlocking the blessings already destined for you, my child. Listen closely when I whisper to you, open that business, start that fast, or go to church, and you respond, that is your shout of readiness, your obedience is your proclamation of readiness for victory. I know deep inside, many of you grapple with a notion that you must feel ready, as if some magical sensation will signal the perfect time. This is a deception a trick to keep you stagnant, you won't always feel ready, readiness is not a feeling but a choice, a leap of faith, declare, I am ready now, 
not because you feel it, but because you choose it. When you're weak, that's when my strength shines through you. It's normal to feel insecure, a little unsure, because your reliance is on me, not on your own might, that feeling of inadequacy. It's not a setback. It's a setup for my power to manifest in your life, so take that. Leap of faith, say with conviction, I am ready. You might not know how everything will unfold, what I might call you to do next, or what lies beyond this moment. But if I call you to shout. Shout, if I urge you to praise, let your praises ring loud. If I guide you to walk a new path, step forward bravely. Your readiness isn't about certainty in the plan, it's about certainty in me, in my ability to lead you to and through your destiny. Type 777 if you believe this. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $50 to $100, so when you say, I'm ready, it's a declaration of trust, a commitment to follow my lead wherever it may take you, my beloved child, understand this. The Israelites stood on the brink of claiming what they had longed for. Yearned for over an immense stretch of time, reflect on your own journey. How long have you been waiting for your breakthrough, for your miracle? I sense the urgency in your heart, and I say to you, for those whom this message touches, your season of waiting draws to a close. I ask you, how many more signs do you need from me? It may not be your moment to triumph just yet, but see yourself as I see you, a conqueror, victorious in every sense. Your name is etched next to words like victorious, favored, blessed beyond measure. You are beautiful, magnificent, a reflection of my goodness, connected to my grace and mercy victory becomes your birthright. Remember, in my resurrection, your victory was sealed alongside mine. You, my precious child, are victorious, and I am not just a silent observer, I am actively backing your faith, your engagement, your willingness to listen and believe, even through this connection, it is a testament to your faith, and I am here to support it sending angels to guard and guide you. The key to the Israelites' victory was their obedience and unity in spirit. Today, you and I are united in this spirit, even though we are apart. Know that I am preparing to unleash breakthroughs upon you, what is rightfully yours. The home I've promised, the love I've ordained, the prosperity I've planned is waiting to be claimed. Your shout, whether a physical cry or a silent prayer, is a powerful act of faith. If you could see how I work in the hearts of those who gather in my name, as in my churches around the world, you'd witness the power of putting faith into action. What I promise, I deliver. Your faith, your shout, is the key to unlocking the blessings already destined for you, my child. Listen closely when I whisper to you, open that business, start that fast, or go to church. And you respond, that is your shout of readiness, your obedience is your proclamation of readiness for victory, I know deep inside. Many of you grapple with a notion that you must feel ready, as if some magical sensation will signal the perfect time. This is a deception, a trick to keep you stagnant. You won't always feel ready. Readiness is not a feeling but a choice, a leap of faith, declare, I am ready now, not because you feel it, but because you choose it. When you're weak, that's when my strength shines through you. It's normal to feel insecure, a little unsure, 
because your reliance is on me, not on your own might. That feeling of inadequacy, it's not a setback, it's a setup for my power to manifest in your life. So take that leap of faith, say with conviction, I am ready, you might not know how everything will unfold, what I might call you to do next, or what lies beyond this moment. But if I call you to shout, shout, if I urge you to praise, let your praises ring loud, if I guide you to walk a new path, step forward bravely, your readiness isn't about certainty in the plan, it's about certainty in me, in my ability to lead you to and through your destiny, so when you say, I'm ready, it's a declaration of trust, a commitment to follow my lead wherever it may take you, my beloved child. Understand this, the Israelites stood on the brink of claiming what they had longed for, yearned for over an immense stretch of time, reflect on your own journey, how long have you been waiting for your breakthrough, for your miracle, I sense the urgency in your heart, and I say to you, for those whom this message touches, your season of waiting draws to a close, I ask you, how many more signs do you need from me, me? I assure you this message is delivered with utmost love, it's not about seeking endless signs or confirmations, understand, I am more than just a giver of signs, I am power, I am fire, I am the Holy Spirit, I am your provider, the Alpha and Omega, Jehovah Jireh. There is none like me, respect my authority, trust in my wisdom, if I call you to rise, it's because I see what lies ahead for you, what awaits you beyond this threshold. The Israelites had nothing but a word to cling to, much like you might only have this message. You may look around and see nothing tangible, much like they saw nothing as they circled Jericho on those initial days. Yet their obedience was key, and on the seventh day, their faith was rewarded. I am telling you now, get ready to witness the tangible manifestation of your faith acts. I, the Holy Spirit, affirm to you, I have received your offerings, I have heard your praises, this is a time of culmination, a moment where the unseen becomes seen, where faith transforms into reality, so prepare your heart, for you are about to see the physical manifestation of all that you've hoped for, prayed for, and believed in. The acts of faith you've been committing are about to bear fruit in a way that will affirm my power and love in your life, my dear child, as I speak to you. Today, know that I have seen and received every act of faith, every gesture of obedience. Recall how I observed the Israelites' steadfast obedience day after day as they circled Jericho, and on the seventh day. I revealed my power in their lives, in the same way, I'm speaking to you here today, prepare yourself to witness how I will magnify every small act of faith you have undertaken, remember, I am a God of abundance, doing exceedingly abundantly more than you can ever ask or imagine, when I guide you to a simple act, perhaps a shout of faith, you might anticipate only a modest outcome. But what you may not realize is that behind that seemingly small act of faith, monumental changes are being set in motion. You are on the brink of witnessing how I tear down walls and break chains in your life. I assure you, you're about to see me build bridges where there seemed to be no way, things that seemed unreachable, blessings others might question. How did you attain that home? How did you secure that vehicle? I am the architect of your journey from the humble to the extraordinary. The Israelites experienced my presence and power, and so shall you. Trust in me, for I am with you in this room, in this moment, ready to transform your acts of faith into miraculous manifestations of my love and power. 
My child, the time has come for your situation to change. No longer will you drift from place to place. I am leading you to a land I have set aside just for you, a good land flowing with milk and honey. I will drive out the inhabitants before you, and you shall dwell in houses you did not build and eat from vineyards you did not plant. No one will be able to stand against you, for I myself will fight for you. I know that right now you have little, but very soon you will have much, the little you have will become more than enough. Never again will you go hungry or thirsty. Fields ripe for harvest will spread out before you as far as the eye can see, your flocks will grow fat and strong, the work of your hands will be bountiful, and you will lack no good thing. This blessing has been a long time in coming, you may wonder why I have waited until now, after so many years of wandering and uncertainty. But now is the appointed time, the fullness of time for my promises to you to come to fruition. This act of faith I am calling you to may seem small, but know that it looms large before my eyes. Your obedience in this matter unleashes my power to work mightily on your behalf. So gird up your loins, cross over into the land I promised your fathers long ago. The giants who live there look strong, but they are no match for me. As long as you walk in my ways, I will ensure your every step is sure and steadfast. I will make your enemies melt away before you until you inherit every inch of land I swore to give you. And when you eat your fill, do not become prideful and forget the Lord your God who rescued you and gave you this good land. Rather. Serve me with joy and gladness of heart, coming before me continually in worship and praise. Remember, it was not by your sword that you took this land and gained this wealth, but by my strong hand and outstretched arm. Now go and fear not, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? I will be with you, I will not leave you or forsake you. Soon, you will see the fulfillment of all I have spoken if you only believe, type, I am evolving, to affirm. Share this video with five people who trust God. Comment, Jesus is Lord, to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notification. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding, type, Amen. If you believe in God, if you're all set, type, yes, take care of yourself. It's not about being the best, it's about being better than you were yesterday, type, I claim it, if you receive this declaration. Type, yes, if you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment, Jesus is Lord, to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications, type 777 if you believe this. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $50 to $100. God bless you my child.